exceptional day sail, but the wind has not let off. We haven't had to turn the engine on once. 38 miles from Pacha. Getting <laughs> pretty pumped. We're starting to pregame now. Yeah. Can you imagine? We, we pull up into the harbor, get off. They have a dock, right? Straight to Pacha. Last week he joined us on a 300 nautical mile crossing to Sardinia where we experienced highs of dolphins and lows of engine failure which led us to pushing Avalon in the dinghy for the last few miles of the trip. <laughs> How are you mate? Good to see you. We picked up two new crew members to join us for the week. Jackson met his buddies Luke and Ben on the sailing team at university. As you can imagine, everyone was pretty keen to get sailing. Uh, Both sides of <laughs> from Wednesday And it, I thought it was more of a northwest wind that was, and that was just what I read or saw. Yeah, no. But look, like brown Wednesday. Like, I don't see why we won't, like there's potential for breeze out there. Like this says five knots, but you know that's going to be 10. After pouring over the weather conditions, we chose to take a sailing route around the western side of the island, which Jackson was pretty stoked about as that's where all the kite surfing happens. So we've got our first night crossing and it's going to take us, we've got about 45 miles, give or take the way that we're tacking, which will always add a bit more. So I think if we can plan to keep our boat speed around four or five knots, it should take us about nine hours to get there. So we'll be out here at 7.30, kind of puts us in at 4.30 in the morning. I think we're going to try to get to the north end of that bay. It seems like it's okay. most protected and there's actually buoys there. So we just need to work out the night watches and how we kind of want to do it because it's important that everyone rests. We don't have everyone up here. So assume that we have dinner at around 8. We can probably start our watches from 8 onwards, I guess. Cool. And everyone wants to do two hour watches. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Yeah, maybe if we even start a two hour watch at 9. Are we just going to see who's tired when and work it out from then or are we going to set them? Well, that's what I'm thinking now. I think we could probably set them so that people have a bit of an idea. Like, I'm happy to work to everyone's clock. We've got enough people. Yeah, um, that's true. Well, you should be the one doing the last watch, right? Because yeah. you're going to have to be up when we're anchoring. Um, 
and then from there, I don't really mind which one. I can do uh, I can do the second to last one. That's probably the shittiest one with Michael Jackson's. I don't really mind. Yeah, me and you, you know, we can play it out and see who's most jet lagged at that moment. Uh -huh. see. All right. Like, so I might be like ready yeah, to cool. rage. So Zan can take the first, you can take the last, and Ben and I we can decide yeah. Yeah. Uh, who does the one after Zan. That's the thing. Like if you find yourself just super tired and you can't do it, then you just gotta come wake someone up and yeah. speak up. And so that's yeah. there's absolutely no problem in that. Um, if you are on watch, you are captain. So it's all on you. Like in terms of. You need to be watching the charts, watching the speed, watching the depths, watching the boats around you. Watching the sails. Watching the sails, uh, making sure we're keeping our speed up and altering course. Like, you know, if we just got to bear off five degrees or whatever it is to keep the speed up, then we're just going to do that. And if we're going to tack our way up, you guys are more than to tack. It's a pretty easy boat to tack by yourself. Yeah. Taking advantage of the fact that we had four competent sailors on board, we decided to take a night sail up to the north end of the island so that we didn't waste the day. sounder seemed to be playing up a little bit throughout the passage, so I went down with my trusty toothbrush to get rid of the pesky barnacles who seemed to be causing all the trouble. And the captain took advantage of this moment to give the hull a scrub. When the jobs were done, we went to go and explore our surroundings. The weather reports were showing a strong mistral arriving in the next few days, which meant we had to start our long passage to Ibiza a little bit sooner than planned. sunrise watch and as the winds had died down to about 12 to 14 knots I shook out the reef. Avalon continued to cruise along at about 7 knots. It wasn't long before the wind came back strong again and the reef was put back in. We'd been sailing pretty hard for 24 hours and were very sleepy sailors. Good evening. Just sent the reporting from Nightwatch. We have had two exceptional days sail. Exceptional. The wind has not let off. We haven't had to turn the engine on once. Is starting to build from the northeast. Nothing crazy right now, just um, about 15 knots. When it gets to 17, whoever's on watch will put a reef in the main. The move 
moon is out. Actually the first time Jackson and I have ever had a night sail with the moon and it makes such a difference. And I've also got Mars guiding me on my path. So that made steering a lot easier. It's really lovely steering by the stars rather than just looking down at the compass the whole time. I was hand steering for 45 minutes just to give the autopilot a break. It wasn't actually too bad because the swells died down a bit. The swell was crazy yesterday. And um, yeah, really lovely being out here on my own. We're doing watches of two and a half hours each. Mine started at 1am. It is now 2am. We got given this lovely um, red torch by Lukey Boy, which is a really lovely gift. I've had one problem with it. I thought, sitting on watch, thinking, oh, I need something citrus, something citrus to keep me awake. And um, went down to get an orange. Took a bite out of it. It was a grapefruit. Alright, I'm going to read my book, Just Finishing Swell by Liz Clark. Mentioned it before, gonna mention it again. Best book since Harry Potter. And then I will hand steer for probably the last last 45 minutes of the watch. The wind from the night vanished throughout the day, and by Ben's watch we were becalmed. And they're missing out on some stuff. wiped about 15 hours off our original ETA yeah. and we've averaged six and a half knots over three days. What are we doing now? Uh, 6.5? Right on the money. 6.5? Alright, good. So maybe we actually need to instigate a new drinking game where you have to steer for <laughs> five minutes and you have to have a sip for every time you dip below 6.5. Oh, I will be legless. <laughs> you got to keep drinking until you get it back over 6.5. So, <laughs> I guess you, everyone has like five minutes at the helm. You can only drink your beer when it's over 6.5. Whoever finishes their beer first wins. I like the idea that you have like a beer bomb. And I mean, I've got plenty of hose down there. <laughs> so we can, a put a, we can put it yeah, in a funnel. In fact, we can get the hand pump. <laughs> Watch the diesel out of No, I've got a spare one. Set it off, and you got to have the tap on. So while you're steering, while you're steering over six five, you don't have to drink. But as soon as you dip under six five, bang! Open. Yeah. Someone else is on the hand pump. <laughs> on the hand pump. 
Jackson, you should wear that into the club. Like this? Just, <laughs> just open shirt. <laughs> just open you can, shirt. You can wear this in days. Runs the cap in the other. Yeah. I got this from a Sardinia. <laughs> and a wind handle or something. You're saying <laughs> naughty. No, I like, I like the idea of having the sat phone in the club. And then, like, when you meet a chick, you're like, oh, what's your number? Hang on, one second. Um, <laughs> When you mean Hang on, I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, how many miles left of the club now? 37. <laughs> 38.1. How fast are you going? 6-2. Drink! Oh, drink! <laughs> Drifting away well, I'm content with doing nothing but Today To the club! Dude, what an epic three day sale we just had. I know. It's about 2 a.m. We just, just arrived after a three day oh, passage. It was exhausting. And <laughs> we've had a couple of beers and now we're going to go to the club. Yeah. We haven't used our legs for three days. I don't know how we're going to dance, but we're going to give it a try. Go. I think it's, we're probably early actually. We're, <laughs> yeah, we're probably early. Apparently things don't get started here till four. But we just want to get off the boat. Yeah. Peace Going out. to the club.